Hey, it was Devo. We got Dev Notes. I think I'm 12 minutes late to this, actually. Well, it was like an hour ago, but who cares? I'm going to still cover it, and then patch notes will come out later today. So, number one, about the new PvE content update. Am I even recording? I am. <laughs> we are preparing to unveil the new PvE content that we mentioned in the previous developer's notes during the fourth year anniversary festival. Really, the new content name Hero Arena will be is being developed in the new PvE which players explore various strategies and compatibility in various combinations. Currently, it is a content that you can experience that you can experience the fun of night battles, which is the most intense regular content in Grand Cross. Okay, bro, that's your opinion. <laughs> the system of forming an attack squad and destroying the opponent's night order garrison. Huh? It's an element only in the night order battle but only selected high ranking night orders can participate in a night order battle. I think it was difficult for many players to experience. I also remember the tension of joy, the tension and joy of winning when I first played the competitive match in particular, it was very impressive by the experience of combining various characters in Grand Cross and exploring while thinking about compatibility and discovering unexpected ways to use the formation in the process, bro. Okay. <laughs> However, as I said earlier, it is difficult content for a large number of people to experience, so it, it was a pity that we could not share this kind of fun with the other players. Yeah, fun for real, for real. Uh, therefore, in order to allow more players to experience the fun of this kind of night order battle, we have partially, partially changed the rules for attacking the garrison in the night order battle, which is a high degree of difficulty. We would like to bring you a new competitive PvE content with leagues. Okay, in this way, Hero Arena minimizes the burden of... The existing battle and the frustration of failure and allows you to easily experience and challenge the battle accordingly uh, according to your level of growth i hope it will be new content hero arena will be organized into leagues according to the difficulty based on the combination of main garrisons can i just say squads the main squad <laughs> actually used the night battles uh it will be a format in which you Make the most of the characters you have and capture one arena composed of multiple squads in succession. In addition, in order to reduce the burden of battles compared to rival battles, we have removed the restrictions on attack opportunities and made it possible to use all the characters you have so that you can organize and utilize a wider variety of attack squads. I plan to... What? <laughs> this is odd. Okay. We are preparing various rewards so that you can exchange the items necessary, necessary to exchange the equipment growth by using... Points given by clearing the process. Hero Arena will be held regularly in form of seasonal updates. Sick. Okay. We plan to create a different attack pattern for each season by changing the combination of leagues, uh, squ leagues teams or squads each season. Uh, I will not look forward to this. Okay. But uh, <laughs> number two, about new growth factors. Since how, how long is this? Okay. We got four points. Uh, about new growth factors. Since the release of Grand Cross, many characters have appeared in new growth elements and have been expanded together. It's already been a year since uh, level 100 was, re was released. Perhaps for that reason, we have confirmed that many players have reached the final stage of character development. Super Megla Don Will. So um, during the four years I spent with everyone, we th th there are characters that many people love. But um, on the other hand, many characters that appear in the past have become less and less useful. Thank you. Yes, you're self-aware. I love accountability. Um, and there are even cases where they're no longer used. The Jericho, Derpy, you know, Derpy is the number one hater for Grand Cross. And he's saying like none of these old units are usable. So hopefully you can use them again. Many of you have sent us your opinions on this character and our development team has been troubled just like you. In response to the opinions that everyone has sent us, we are preparing to add new character growth elements for the fourth year anniversary. Please do not make this like broken for newer characters and make somebody like, let's, let's say Red House. I love Red House. Make him not broken, but like usable, bro. Like, please, bro. Throughout this growth, we aim to make it possible for characters who were active before to be able to use them again. Thank God, Derpy is doing backflips, bro. We hope that this new growth element will be stepping will be a stepping stone for exist exist. Oh, I cannot read for existing characters to be able to use them again. And that what? And that through this, we will create an environment um, in which even more characters can be used. Of course, adding new growth elements will increase the burden, but in order to reduce the burden. We are thinking about selecting characters that can open higher growth and opening them sequentially. No. Oh my God. 
That sound like relics. That sound like relics to me. I don't know, man. Throughout the regrowth of existing characters, I hope that it will be done. It will become, oh, what? It it will become Grand Cross where more various characters are utilized. For more detailed growth factors, please check the Grand Cross Information Bureau scheduled to be broadcasted this week. So patch notes, I guess, later tonight. Addition of Night Order system. Do I care about this? All members of Night Orders, everyone gets activity points. You can open exclusive reward boxes. So do, do we? What? Let me just skim this. And you can get additional rewards according to a number of cumulative orders that the entire knights have completed. Sick. Okay. I really don't care about that. <laughs> number four, convenience of super evolution. Oh my God. Number two and four are like actually like talking about real shit, bro. You love to see it. The first point and the third point are talking about knighthood shit. I don't give a f Ugh, bro. I'm sorry to be um crass with y'all, but I really don't give a fuck about that shit. Uh, with with this fourth anniversary update, we plan to improve not only the content, but also the convenient part. Convenience, that's what we like to see. First of all, we plan to improve the convenience of Super Evolution, which many players have given us. No, not no, not even Super Awakening, bro. Like, legitimately, like, leveling up a character. Like, all of it. Not just the Super Awakening part. Uh, give us your opinions. In order to reduce the trouble of repeatedly super evolving and strengthening characters when growing a character, we plan to add a function that will allow characters to super evolve all at once, regarding of the character's current level, as long as they have enough evolution materials. That's what you love to see, ladies and gentlemen. After advancing the super evolution all that all at once, you'll be able to upgrade all wait, what? Bro, nigga, I just the super evolution all at once, you'll be able to upgrade all at once, everything else, uh, to unlock levels, making it easier to proceed with super evolution of your characters. And this developer, oh, that basically just cover everything else. Sorry, so four and two are actually like big W's, big, big W's. So they're gonna make older characters useful, and then they're gonna make um, leveling up easier. This came out like, what, an hour ago or something like that? I'm actually like super mega late to this. I'm sorry, I was too busy like um making something for the podcast tomorrow. Stay tuned for that. So if you guys enjoyed, go ahead and smash the like button, subscribe, turn on notifications, all that good stuff. And let me know what you think about this, um, these patch notes. Uh, I think new PVE content. That's cool. At least it's, it's something to do. A lot of y'all talking about, oh, where gross is nothing ever to do, bro. Now there's some extra. If, if, if I'm going to keep it a buck with y'all, let, let me be real. Let, let Uncle Davo be real with y'all right now. There is always something to do in Grand Cross. It is just the fact that you don't want to do the things in Grand Cross that there is to do. You don't want to farm relics. You don't want to farm like several of these things or even do everything. Well, let, let, let's just say in a perfect world, you had a gear set for everybody. You did training cave every single week. You got everybody you are gear. You have no more. You you even rewrote everything. You got all relics. You, you are done. You are the ultimate Megalodon will. I promise you. You have not reached that end. There's always something to do. I promise you. But it's just, it's just the the matter of, the, the thing is, you just don't want to do it because it seems too tedious and not worth it. So you can't really just say there isn't anything to do. You can just say, oh, I don't want to do that um, tedious or pointless or asinine task. It's, uh, trust me, trust me. There's always something to do in Grand Cross. There's a lot of things to do. And there's some things in Grand Cross that I don't even want to fucking do. I don't even have all my relics. There's, there's something for me to do, but I ain't going to do all that shit, bro. Every time I play Demonic Beast, I want to commit Sudoku. I promise you, bro. But all right, y'all. Peace out. Y'all stay good. Let me know what you think about the passion notes. I think it's a W, but they always seem to be like buttering us up for like something great, even though it'll just be like, okay, but uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.